Um, I'm just going to run through what's in each of these hampers that I plan to give away. Um, like I said, it is a $5 donation. Every $5 you donate, you get your name entered into the draw. And there's going to be three, three gifts here. So um, three people will win um, one of the hampers or a little Donnie Moore photography bundle. So the more you give, the more I can help. There's this app I've been, I have been in touch, or people have been touching me about uh, there's a four, there's actually been a fifth one as well. I really can only help so many, depending on how much money comes in. Uh, has to be something, I'll be something meaningful. So the more money comes in, the more potential to help out um, each of these causes. And some of them may be a bit more uh, in need of financial support than the other. I have to touch base with the, the people themselves, but these have been. Um, other people have contacted me to say that these uh, families could do with um, a little bit of help this Christmas. So I'm just going to run you through each of the hampers so you know exactly what you're um, potentially going to win. But remember, the main thing is donations. Um, it's really just a thank you for people who have donated. I can't give something to everybody. Um, but I have bought I think, nearly $400 worth of uh, different things from local crafters, local artisans kind of thing and also some people have donated stuff generously so these are they're quite full of stuff um but i want to say the primary thing is to give even if, if you don't want it if you want to donate to help me uh, i appreciate it i appreciate you following along i know a lot of you like the content i share um so this would also help there if you if you if you like the content and you think it's worth five dollars for a year sell me five dollars and i'm not getting it it's going straight to people who need it so that's the key there it's going to people who need it. This is just a thank you. So that being said, the first thing there is a little handmade uh, tray. Each one, each of the hampers in some sort of container. So I got this one for this. Um, I got up here in the way. Now I have been donated these books. Uh, they're a bit specific, so I'd rather give these to people who actually um, could benefit from them rather than put them in a, a general hamper. But Melissa Lyons donated some stuff along with her books about grieving. If you've uh, kids or family members who've lost a pet or a family member, just how uh, you can explain the grieving process, which you would like to get in the hands of somebody who could benefit. Uh, each of the hampers, there's a quartz cotton block. And that's from uh, Mike Dufour at uh, Stony Age Granite. I think I'm not gonna butcher his name, but he, he can post. So there's one of them for each of the hampers. There's also an even heavier natural stone one if you want that you can have it but i'm going to try and set this stuff out here uh i'll just go through there is a set of uh crayola crayons and a coloring book and a story of the christmas story um, by trisha forcey local uh, lady in harrow now uh, she's done these so there's crayons for the coloring book and just a bedtime story book of the christmas story uh, dress by an olive if you like your olive oils, there's a, a chipotle infused olive oil and a smoke and spice uh, rub marinated. So that's in there. Um, a $20 uh, Georgie's restaurant gift card. So you can use that in Georgie's restaurant in Harrow. A um, couple of little hand painted things. Uh, get the light off. There's a little notebook and a little sunflower print, small print you could hang there as well. Bit of a laser artwork here. So this is a little uh, Ambassador Bridge Christmas ornament on a wooden blank. So that's in it. Actually, that one of those in each of the hampers. This is a hand turned pen from Epic Woodcrafts. That's Ryan App. So. There is a nice, might say on here what type of wood it is, I'm not sure, it doesn't say, I'm not sure what type of wood this is, but this is a hand turned pan. Uh, here we have a um, local hairdresser at Royal Hair, so this is uh, Nicole Marie donated this. So this is a some shampoo and conditioner, I believe, and also she's donated a... Um, gift certificate for a haircut and slash wash and style 
So as you can tell the mine, I don't get that done very often, but I'm sure there's good value in that as far as what it's worth. So get that in there. Uh, there is a metal print. I'll get the light on that. That's the Detroit skyline. That's by uh, Josh Wilson. Took that photo, but it's a small uh, hangable metal print. So you also have more that we turned, uh, a turned tea light holder, so little wood uh, persimmon it says on it, so I'm assuming that's the wood that this is, but nice little tea light holder. There is a Pampered Chef pie dish. My, my experience with my wife going to any um, Pampered Chef um, events, uh, all this stuff's quite expensive, so there is a Pampered Chef pie dish, which is quite nice in the box, brand new. Wasn't it? I didn't make a pie in it, which some people might like if I made a pie in it. Close that for now. Also got a twisted to life tree. So this is um, Laura Newbond makes these. Um, can't really read all the words in that there, but there's, it's all about the uh, brings individuality, freedom, flexibility, helps your ego. So if you've got sort of your ego, get this little tree. So it's all natural materials there, and the little trees infused onto the the rock there, um, some type of gemstone or semi precious stones or something. So there's that. There is a uh, water bottle, drink coffee bottle with a nutcracker uh, laser etched on it. Now, I'm not saying everybody's name because I actually on my head I can't really remember, but on the post. Um, Please feel free to post. Got a little knitted hat there. Keep you warm, it's starting to get cold. Now here's a little novel idea. I've never seen this before and I had to explain it. This is a drink mitt. So in the winter you can go out and I get your favorite beverage, whatever that is, uh, in a cup. And you can put the cup, actually I'm gonna do it with this cup. There's the card. But this is now your mitt. You're out for a walk, taking the dog or something for a walk. You can put your drink in there. Quite novel, drink away, and um, doesn't get cold in the container or hot, whatever you're drinking out of. But that's in there, so that's a little novel idea for something crocheted or knitted, or not exactly sure if it's crocheted, knitted, or what. Some more little Christmas ornaments uh, in here. So these are a couple of Highland Coos. Everybody loves a Highland Coo. So that's those. And then a couple of bigger things to go in the back of the hamper there. This is a Sensi hamper. Not really sure. Well, there's things that have Sensi on it. Not sure what this Santa gnome thing is. There's some chocolate in there. There's a little water container. And some other Sensi says something about polar bear. Don't think it's an actual polar bear in there, but something to do with polar bears. So that's that. And I'm going to say finally. Finally, this one. This is uh, like chocolates and caramel corn, some wafers and things, so all little chocolates and goodies. This one making me disappear here. So that's all in there. Um, so that'll be one of the hampers, and then I'll make another video with the second hamper. Okay, so the second hamper that I put together, as you can see, this box is a little bit bigger because there's a couple of bigger items to that's trying to work out. So I'll even use this at the home for a bit of uh, furniture after you're finished. Put it outside your porch, put some flowers or whatever in it. This is part of it too, so a couple of little crafters done the, the boxes. Uh, we've got a Christmas uh, throw blanket, nice soft blanket. This didn't come with it, I'm just putting these things on. There was uh, some uh, cartoon character bookmarks. Well, as you can see, I had to make that thing bigger because this was all going in here. There is uh, a this here for the, the person you like who uh, likes to do some uh, quick knit, quick don't know what this means, but it's to do with uh, crocheting uh, hats and the like. Never knew this until it was given this. Tupperware also make uh, games. So this is like a Tupperware game. You throw balls between each other, like air. You put something on the end of this and you pop air. And the uh, ball goes back and forward. So it's a game by Tupperware. Something in there. And 
little set of uh, butter dishes for your Christmas dinner. I'll get them on the table. I measured some shots as well. Some shots fired. Got a again. There is one of those cotton blocks. There's one here. Cotton block uh, at the front there. There's an original piece of art. Hope you can see that clearly. That's a looks like a solid oil. That's Viperi Alm Tiger from Kingsville. Sorry, that's out of screen there. Uh, same thing again. What I did, there's a lot of sort of I was getting stuff that was similar to each other. That's why I made two humpers. Um, so there wasn't double drawing, but there's again hand painted little notebook and sunflower print. I'm gonna start moving this stuff here. It's in front of me. Uh, got a pair of these like for your kitchen, your dining table, whatever. Little uh, e light holders. Uh, the center one as well. So there's the three tea light holders there. By party light, whatever that is. Again, I'm not. Familiar with a lot of this stuff, so we an ambassador bridge uh, Christmas tree ornament. Now, I am not want to pull this out of the bag again because smelly stuff gives me migraines. Um, but there is some scentsy, a little scentsy bundle in there. Uh, some sm definitely smelly because not open the bag, really put them back. Um, same game, we've got the, the um, knitted. Drink mitt and hat and scarf set there. We've got you know, smelly stuff here in a bag with seal. This is a, a bath soak. And, no, oh, what's this? And it says energize me. Not really sure what these things for. I don't really use them, but I'm sure they're very good. But the bath soak actually come. I can't tell what this is. Or like a massage cream of some description. Leaves skin soft and smooth. Maybe I could do with that. That's in the box. And then we've got a another little drink container. This one's designed uh with your inner Grinch in mind there, so little glass on with the Grinch emblems and things on. I bet I know the book right. No, I didn't. There, in it goes. Uh, we have another Pampered Chef item. This is like a mixed chop thing, apparently. You're mixing and you're chopping, so it's got blades, kind of plastic blades, but you can chop your vegetables or whatever. As you're mixing, doing like a salad or something. Got some Christmas uh, tea towels for whoever's going to be uh, drying up some dishes over Christmas. Or just for decoration. And again, another little set of Christmas tree decorations. With, uh, I think they're all British animals, but you can probably get them anywhere. But little... Uh, Got deer, badger, foxes, and so on. There's a few more robins, things like that. So again, some more Christmas ornaments. So I've tried to keep the, like I said, the um, gift hampers that mix up so there's something for everybody. Uh, you could potentially like, just re-gift all this. You get it, and you can think of somebody who would like it, and you can just give it to them. Uh, it won't offend me, and it's all good stuff in there. That's the idea. Hopefully it appeals to you. So this is the second gift hamper. We've got the two gift hampers. And again, the thrust, the thrust of it is just donate money. Um, it's not going to me, I'm not doing it, it's not sitting in my bank account. As soon as I get to do the draw on Monday, it's the 18th. So next week, and probably about a week from having made this video. Um, doing the draw, then I'll get the hampers to the people as soon as possible. And I'll touch base with the the contacts I've had who you could do with some um, probably financial help um, maybe towards something else as well but, uh, but finances are a bit of an issue or there's something else helping crises in the family but that's where it's all going I'm not benefiting from this at all the only thing I'm benef from, benefiting from is your generosity it's, it's you who are going to raise the money I'm just here to facilitate that so I'd appreciate any donations 
every five dollars in the draw and you could potentially win one of these hampers um, but the key is the money being raised so thank you everybody who's taken part who's already sent me money I appreciate it and let's keep this going and try and raise as much as possible I know things are tight for some people but then five dollars it's uh, the donations donation don't think oh, I'm not gonna win it's not about winning it's about the donation so if you can afford five dollars I would appreciate it I thank you for following me on my photography page on the antics I get up to if that means anything to you over the year you think it's worth five dollars send me five dollars I'd appreciate it if you think it's worth more than that or you think campers are worth more than that send that to whatever whatever you can afford I'm not trying to put people in the poor house don't send what you can't afford so if you can't afford it, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, I just thank you for following along with the photography. So have a good night. Okay, and uh, not saying third place. Whoever wins these, you can pick whatever one you want. Um, choice, first, second, third, whatever's left, and third person can't really pick. But I was donated this little, well, I've got these, so I've got some. You can see my logo there, Donnie Moore Photography logo on a nice little bobble hat. Um, a, much sought after Donny Moore photography logo sticker. But it was donated this, which is this uh, very fitting to have this picture. So it's a water, juice, drink, coffee, whatever you put in there, drink container. But on it is printed the siren, the photo of the wave that looks like a lady looking over her shoulder, which is quite ironic because today, was it last year, two years, two years ago? Is when I took this photo. I'm still waiting for it to get windy to take more, but that's so little Donnie Moore photography bundle with that in it. 